All right, so today we are going to check out the Radio Master Ranger EOLRS module. This is the 2.4 gigahertz version. And what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you what's in the box and I'm going to show you how to set it up. And then I'm going to share some of my final thoughts of it. Let's get going. Let's go over briefly of the important thing that is in the box. If you wanted to see the step-by-step -step process of how the box was unboxed, check the video below or right here. That's the unboxing video. But in this video, I'm just going to give you the essential portion of it. So you're going to obviously get a Ranger module. The thing that is special is that you're going to get a, a micro bay, which you will be fit into, able to fit into a full size JR bay. This is a micro size. And then it also comes with an adapter that you will be able to do. So you, if you don't want the micro size, you will be able to put it on the nano size. So this is a very good thing because if you purchase the other ones, I don't think you're going to get the adapters. I think it, they're only going to be compatible, either going to be a micro size or either going to be a nano size. So this you will be able to use it on both ways, which I really like. And the second thing that they include, I think that is important, is going to be those two antennas. So this is a Moxin antenna, which you are supposed to use it on long range. So if you want to put on long range, this should give you a better result. And if you are putting it on a daily use, this is an antenna that is a T-shape. This is for short and mid range. So if you want a daily use, this one is the one to go. And if you want long range, this one is the one to go. All right. So that's basically the most important stuff that is in the box. The rest, let's just jump in right into the setup tutorial. So I'm going to put up the short range antenna since this should be sufficient enough. So we're done with the unboxing process. Let's briefly go over how we can get this Ranger module set up so it will work with our receiver and our drones. So to set this thing up, there is two important things you need to know. Number one is going to be firmware. Number two is going to be the methods of how you bind it. So number one firmware, you have to make sure that both of the firmware on your module and your receiver, which means your drone has to match. So they have to both be on 3.x. Right now, everything should be on 3.x already. The Radio Master Pocket, or the Radio Master Ranger, has shipped in default in the Express LS 3.x version. So, which means your drone should be upgraded as well. All right. So, done with that. If you're not sure what you have, you can send me a detailed description of the product you have in the comment section, and I'll try to help you find it. As for the binding method, there's going to be two main binding methods that you can choose to use. Number one is going to be the plug and unplug your battery three times binding method and press the bind key here to bind your radio receivers. The second method is a little bit more high end, which is called the binding phrase method. This is exactly the one I'm going to teach you today because I think this is more, this is a better way of binding the Express LS receiver and I wish you know how to use it. Next, we're going to be talking about how to get this thing power on. There's going to be three ways you can do it. You can plug it, you can basically plug it into your radio and it will be powered on automatically. And another two methods is going to be using a USB-C cable, which you can plug in right here or a XD30. Okay, so for easy demonstration, I'm going to plug it into my Radio Master TX16. So we can have kind of like a universal view for this. Most likely, all the modules are going to be the same. So we're going to power it on. Okay. All right. So if you have your external module turned on in your Radio Master, this thing is going to automatically power it on. You can see that we are basically right now are in Express LS 3.3.0. So this is in 3.x. Very good. We're at 100 milliwatts. So probably we have to go in to set up some additional stuff. Come back to the front side of the radio. What you're going to do is you're going to press the system button. You're going to go to Express LS. And we're going to connect, try to connect the Radio Master Ranger module to the Wi-Fi. So obviously, you will be able to adjust it using the buttons here, but we're just going to do it easily. So everybody has a universal view. We're just going to do it at the Lua script on the same here. So basically, this screen is basically, the Lua script right here is basically just bringing the LCD screen to the front. So basically, they do the same function. You're basically connecting, trying to control the module. So what you're going to do right here is you're going to come here and hit Wi-Fi connectivity. You're going to enable, okay, enable RX, enable Wi-Fi actually. 
So this would enable the Wi-Fi of the Radio Master Ranger. So we can go to our computer and we can go connect to the computer. All right, so at our computer, basically what you're going to do is you're going to go to your Wi-Fi icon. And then you are going to come down and try to find Express Alarms TX. You're going to hit connect. So if you don't know the password, the password is going to be Express L. Or how do you spell it? Express LRS all lowercase and you hit next. It's going to connect and a separate web page should pop out for you to set up the binding phrase. So this is the thing we want. Can refresh. Okay, so refresh again. It should come out. So you can see that this is our Radio Master Ranger module. We're going to set up the binding phrase as 654321. This is my binding phrase. You can set up whatever you like as long as it matches your drone. And once you're done, you're just going to hit save. So very, very simple. So reboot. All right, so let's go back to the bench. All right, so back to the bench. So now our radio has been set up. We should be able to give it a quick bind to one of the quads to see if it actually works. So let me put the radio right here. And then let's bring out my access quad to see if it works. Okay, we're going to plug it in. All right, and then we're going to do let me make this bigger so you can see the propellers. We're going to flip the arm switch to see if it actually works. All right, so this is how you set up and bind to your drone. So this is the other site. Normally I do the drone site, but this is how you set up ELRS TX site to bind with your drone. All right, so this is a bind successful and we have set up the thing correctly. Let's talk about what are my thoughts about this thing. Okay, so done with the tutorial. And I think the important question right now is I think you might want to know, is the Radio Master Ranger worth the additional $50 to purchase compared to a regular $50 module? Well, this is a tough question to answer, but for me, I do think the Radio Master Ranger was very well built. You can see that you're getting cast iron casing and a larger fan compared to like a regular $50 module with a, what is this? This is a plastic casing and a smaller fan. So the theory for me is where you're getting metal casing and a larger fan, you should be able to resolve heat a little bit better. But is that very important? Maybe and occasionally when it's super hot, this might be a little bit plus for it. You also get two extra buttons on your Radio Master Ranger and a larger LCD screen compared to a regular one. Well, but this is not so important. It's convenient, but you will always be able to set everything up in your Radio Lua script page. So this only adds convenience, but I don't think it's the necessity of having it. The next thing that is impressive of the Radio Master Ranger that I like is you get two antennas. So the box basically gives you two antennas, one for short and mid range and one for longer range. So this is a very nice thing to have in my opinion. And at last, the most important aspect of the Radio Master Ranger and the biggest selling point, at least to me, is that it goes up to two watts when you need it. Compared to this one, it only goes up to one watt. This one goes to two watts. So double the technically, theoretically, double the distance. But are you going to use it that often? Maybe not. So my conclusion is if you don't care about all these premium features that the Radio Master Ranger offers, then probably getting a regular module like this will be just as good for your daily use. All right, so this is just my opinion. If you have a different perspective and thoughts about the Radio Master Ranger, why not just let me know in the comment section. By the way, if you don't mind, please help me subscribe and hit the like button. I will be very appreciate your support. I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.